Hello there everybody, welcome back to another video by Balder Dash Gaming. Uh, this is the beginning of our Terraria Master Mode playthrough. I am joined by In Between Game Space Valley. I myself am the one and only Callisto33. Welcome to the not so wonderful world of Terraria. Um, we are in a bit of a grave situation with this graveyard here. Um, we've both died numerous times and we can't even get into the small base that we had set up because of this situation. We both died several times to zombies and whatnot during the night, as you can see, something like that. And the gravestones were enough to create a graveyard. And so we attempted to create a small base that could help protect us from this, but it sadly was not enough so we are currently stuck outside it and i am now being chased by ghosts we are trying to find something to do about this but at the moment our solution is to run i think this is the end oh man this is the end oh no oh no no this is the oh, end God. this is it this is the oh. end oh no oh man oh no i'm running uh, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh no! Oh man. Oh man. Oh, this is rough. So, yeah, as, um, as you can see everyone, this is what we've been going through for the last 30 minutes or so as we get g get this base ready. Our situation, <laughs> our situation is not improving, ladies and gentlemen. Our situation is not improving. Oh man, there's a ghost. Get rid of these gravestones. Oh man, and there I go, there I go again. Um, so yeah, if you just look through the uh, chat right now, um, there, there's a uh, frightening amount of death messages. This is not going particularly well. I Oh, and I spawned it right next to a bunch of zombies. I really hope that we can do something to stop this. Oh man, that hurt. That hit yes. hard. Everyone, as you can see with Master Mode, this was added in with the newest Terraria update, Journey's End and it makes the game so much harder. There aren't really any new enemies or anything like that, nothing that wasn't added in to expert mode as well by the developers, but everything does so much damage. So I, get, I died about in two hits uh, from all the enemies. Yeah, it, it is so difficult. Oh yeah, but I have really bad internet connection, so if I disconnect, it's normal, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, yeah, un unfortunately, Game Space does not have the best internet, so sometimes he'll randomly lag out at the server. <laughs> but hopefully, we can work through that to accomplish our goals in the server. Um, we're honestly, we're just kind of hoping to be able to complete the game. And we're we're gonna not, be proud of myself if we make it through hard mode. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not setting particularly high standards with with this difficulty with master mode. It it's going to be a joy to make it to master mode, to heart, oh gosh, to make it to <laughs> hardcore mode. Holy moly, my brain is breaking right now. It is mm, too late for this. Um, and then so, hopefully we can make it through master mode and on to beat the final bosses. But yeah. thing, things are looking grim. They honestly I've are. been uh, exploring pretty far to the left here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm following along behind you. Um, one thing, uh, we will point out is, uh, we had a, another video that showed all the base building and stuff, and, uh, we are, uh, we, we lost the footage, is the short story of all of that. <laughs> yeah, I, we had another video set up, but unfortunately that footage just kind of, like, disappeared. We honestly don't know what happened to it, but, um, yeah, so about a half hour, 45 minutes of working and filming is just kind of like gone to the universe. Hey, that's okay, because uh, now you guys get to not have to watch us pathetically die a whole bunch making a base. <laughs> yeah, to be totally honest, that the footage was basically just a 45 minute compilation of us dying repeatedly, um, <laughs> trying to set up so that base true. to defend ourselves from the graveyard. I believe we died some 20 or 30 odd times each. So, oh my gosh, yeah, it, it, we, we died it, so it was an embarrassing experience to say the least. Um, so 
Yeah, it's a shame we lost the footage, but also it's a blessing in disguise. But it's not a very good disguise, because it truly is a blessing that you guys don't have to watch that. Actually, you guys are here for most of the journey, because we spent so much time building up base and just trying to not die that we never actually got the opportunity to explore the world, so... This is, uh, this is first time exploration that you guys are seeing. This is some, uh, real Lewis and Clark stuff here. We're gonna be, uh, <laughs> scouting out the world and seeing if there's any sort of waterway across North America, which there is not, unfortunately speaking. I did not know. Really? Um. Already that No, I didn't, actually. Alright, well now you know. Um. More you know. We'll put, uh, can we put one of those more, the more you know weird uh, things at the top there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah we, can, we can make that happen. We'll do our best. I am in the caves and I got a cloud in the bottle. Really? I, yeah. Um, and That's I just found thing. another underground cabin. Is that what, what they're called? <laughs> um, I think so. Something like that. But well, either way, let's go. To my standards, they're now called underground cabins. Oh, underground cabins. Hey, I got but... a flare gun and another cloud in the bottle, so you can have that one. That is very exciting. Now that we're just doing some basic exploration, we are going to go into a montage of us getting everything explored and hopefully finding some cool stuff around this world. We unfortunately had to end that montage. Uh, both of us died. It, The world exploring didn't go nearly as well as we were hoping for. Uh, we did find some cool stuff, but we died swiftly in the process. So it didn't last as long as we could have hoped, but at least we got some cool stuff in the process. Like a cloud in the bottle. Ah, that is my doing. <laughs> ah, yes. The wonderful work of Game Space and his exploring. So now um, we'll just probably be continuing getting our base set up, and then seeing what we can do loom. in that department for preparation into later game. Got a loom. Got ourselves some chests. I think I'm going to make this chest up here. Just a chest for some random blocks that we have gathered up. Just so we don't have too much stuff clogging up our inventories. So let's rename this guy. We're going to name it Blocks Miscellaneous. Go, that should be good for getting our uh, storage system mill? started up. What were you saying about a sawmill? There's a sawmill to make up beds, then we don't respawn in the farm. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. So, this is starting to come together, and at least we've got our graveyard cleared out, and we're not dying regularly anymore. But there is still much work to be done for this base to truly become a beginning home for our playthrough. What happened to my chandelier? You got a chandelier, huh? Yeah, I got a gold one. Gold chandelier, wow, you're spending the big bucks on something. I also got 36 platinum more while I was out there. 36 platinum, alright. I, I mean, that is pretty dang good. I would take that any day of the week. <laughs> well, it's too bad, because it's mine. <laughs> well, I mean, that does sound pretty fair. I mean, finders keepers, right? I mean, that you is did give me that say. cloud in the bottle, so I can't ask for much more. But, yep. Oh, I just look in my uh, inventory. I have your chandelier. Oh, you! You stole my golden chandelier! I'm sorry, I'm a thief. I didn't even realize it either. Yep. 
but yeah, we and uh, make a little crafting area here for us. Yeah, that seems like a good thing to get set up. I will continue sorting out our sorting system. We'll get everything named and start getting those things figured out. So I will see you guys in just a moment when we have finished that. As you can see, we have gotten our storage system and our basic crafting station set up now. We've got ourselves some nice named chests here. We've got ourselves all the crafting stations that we could possibly need, at least in this stage of the game, in our little bunker where we are safe from all those pesky zombies outside trying to take our heads off. Oh, and look, they're even putting up some paint and spicing up the life in here. So, yeah, hopefully oh, yeah. we will be able to get some further improvements to this base. We've got our bed laid down, so we're no longer spawning out there with all the minis. We can spawn in here if and when we are to die, because that is, it's not a Terraria playthrough without a few deaths, don't you know? So now hopefully we can continue on once it is day and start getting some caving done and start to collect some ores and really get started and get things going for this Terraria playthrough. Alrighty then, now that it is day, we can start venturing over to the caves without having to worry about dying to those zombies, as hard as they hit in this mode. So we can go over and start getting some ores, and really kick things off, and get armor and better tools, and various stuff. Ah, I see this world has tin. Oh no, it slimes. Is, yes. Oh no. Oh, oh man. Oh. oh. I guess the zombies weren't the only problem with master mode. <laughs> Oh, so thankful I have the cloud in the bottle. Yep. Can actually jump past those uh, yeah. enemies. Really does help. Yeah. We Lucky go. I found two of them. Yeah, it is. Now we are at the entrance to the cave and we can start heading down. Game Space has gotten here ahead of us and explored a little ways on his own. But hopefully we can find some things that he may have missed.
that looks like the end of that mining session. I died a couple of times myself, Game Space died once, and between the two of us we got a fair amount of loot as well as several chests to add to our storage system. We both made off like bandits as far as finding stuff went, but unfortunately I believe that is all we have time for today in this world of Terraria. So make sure to come back another time to see the follow-up videos for the rest of this series. And if you enjoy this kind of content, sometime check out my personal channel as well as GameSpace's personal channel. And if you really did enjoy this video, feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know. And if you can think of anything that we might be able to do better to improve viewing experience in the future, don't be afraid to let us know. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you all later. Farewell.